So you guys don't have any like eggs or stuff, it's just the waffles and cereal? Waffles, uh, biscuits and gravy, oatmeal, juice, toast, coffee. No protein stuff though, no. more carb shit? Nope, it's all carb shit. Yeah. Where's the spot I can walk to and find some cheap protein? Right next door, Hut. Decent price? Good yeah. food? I decent won't price, die. decent food. Ain't killed me yet. Okay. But then again, I have the Constitution of the, you know, Missouri Mule. I'm uh, still blown away that whole thing you told me about citizenship. Man, that just fucked my head up. You never, nobody ever explained that to you? Or I that sure that. don't remember that from my political science, even in college. Well, here's, here's the real kicker with me. I'm listening. Why did fight the Civil War? You want to take a walk around the Ponderosa? No. Nah. Nah. Yeah, around. I got 45 minutes left to go. Well, when you're done with your 45 minutes, I rolled up something for you. But, uh, if you're in the mood. Do you know why we started, why we had the Civil War? <laughs> the side from the slaves and... No, that had nothing to do with starting the Civil War. Okay, I missed this one too. You gotta lay this one on me. Okay, this is gonna be good. State rights over uh, federal government. Okay, I need a cup of coffee yeah. for this the, one. The Do you have any coffee here? I need to run it Yeah, it's all in there. All right. I just don't, the last one I got it there for a yeah. second. Because of the twisted political shit that they put in history books for kids to read in school. Well, usually they say it's because of the Emancipation Proclamation. There you go, I remember okay. that one. And the Civil, stumping. Civil War started April 12, 1861. Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation the Proclamation, Proclamation January 1st, 1863. What the fuck did we fight the first 18 months for? What was the Emancipation Proclamation? Then? That's free all slaves. Except in the border states. So what were we fighting for 18 months for before that assignment? What were we fighting Federal about? government's rights over the state's rights. That's what that whole war was That's about? That whole war was about. Guess who got screwed in the process? Uh, Blacks. Individual states. How did individual states get screwed? Because once they won the war, once the feds won the war, everything had to go through the federal government. There was not a federal law until 1865. What? Well, there were the amendments to the Constitution. No. Those, are, those aren't laws. The Constitution is not a law. The Constitution tells the government what they can do and cannot do. The Western government shall, arms, the government, the government shall abide, or, uh, make no law abridging any religion. Do you realize how twisted people are in school, what they're teaching versus what really You know happened? what they forget to teach people in school? The first thing I was taught when I... That we stole this country from the Indians for fucking beads? <laughs> and we stole it from the Mexicans for fucking tequila? The first history class I ever took. This guy's really smart. I've learned a lot of shit here. Did you know this? I know i did, did you? Are you, you live here in the United States? Yeah. Do you realize you're not... How did you say you're not a citizen of the United you're States? You're not a US, United States citizen. I didn't know that. Did you know that? No. What state, what state were, were you born in? Uh, in California. Okay, you're a citizen you're of the state of California, California. which is a member of 
the United States of America. On you my passport, I live in California, but on my passport, he's right. It has uh, born it, which is Michigan. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say California. Because you're a resident Michigan. of the state. Of, you're a citizen of the uh, state, state of Michigan. Michigan. I'm first a resident in California. First thing my his, first history teacher I ever had taught me was this. History. His story. His, his story. story. Or his, his, his story. story. His, his story is written by the, written by the, the winner. Shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Not by the losers who got fucked in the game, by, like the Indians or Mexico or anybody else. It is else. his story. The second you look at history, you are looking at the his winner's story. side. Oh. So look at the other side, and somewhere in the middle is the truth. Oh, my. Hey, so, so you, know, you know a lot about history, right? What oh, yeah. History? I'm an absolute history freak. Yeah, so, well, he what's spoiled the, me away. What, I've been what's the truth time. about Columbus? About Columbus? He never, oh, he never got, got to, to America. Yeah, he never got to America. He went to the West <laughs> French Indies and said he discovered America. <laughs> and Jamaica. Eric the Red was here 800 years before him. They proved that the Chinese were on the West Coast Thank you. almost 1,200 years before Columbus got and here. The bridges bearing streets were still oh, there. Oh, no, they, they sailed from around. Japan over. Oh, but didn't they also come across the bearing they, streets? They have found pottery in California that is indigenous to a section of Japan from 1,200 to 1,300 years ago. They didn't Hold float it. over. 1,300 years ago or BC? No, 1,300 years ago. Maybe, but isn't there some artifacts that didn't come from China that went back to BC? Down South America on the Peruvian coastline. Oh. Chinese pottery, pottery from BC. BC, so before why, why they, why Christ. Or Allah, why did they or, say that or, Columbus found it? Or Allah, he was the or, first white man to do it. Well, and because he went back to the Spain and said, "Look what I found! I got rum, I got sugar, I got, I got slaves." They yes, raped and fucking pillaged. God, these fucking liars in politics in the years. We've been lying to for fucking generations. And we wonder why we have racial tension, religious tension, because they made it that way to keep people in fear and control them. And they still, they still make a big deal on Columbus Day of May. Oh yeah, it's a fucking national holiday for a guy who never even fucking landed here. Unbelievable. I knew about that. And where was that spot they landed in Virginia or something when they did come over from England and they fucking terrorized everybody and gave them a couple of beads and said, here, this is ours, get the fuck out of here. Here's some whiskey, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's from teaching that shit. I didn't know I was an American citizen. I was a citizen of the state of Michigan. I didn't know that either. When I said it, I looked at my passport. And, oh, yeah, it says Michigan. It doesn't say California. I've lived in California 31 years. But it still doesn't show on my passport. It only shows on a driver's license. So I have the right to drive in the state of California because I live there, but I'm a resident of Michigan. What happens when they say we cross the border where we are? Where we born. Uh -huh. don't ask. Are you American citizen? Well, they ask us. Well, well here's my passport. Yes. Wow. Oh my God. And who are you voting for? Dumb, dumb, or retarded? You know what? I, I know. I, I I grew up in, in watching that so much that it's all a bunch of lies. Oh, all it is. It's is it's lies. who's the biggest liar? Yeah, and, and all they want to do is get an office, and that's it. But uh -huh. whatever they tell you. Do Are you Chris? Nope. No. No. What do you need? Well, when I called your cell phone, it said your name and another name. Yeah, it's my wife. Chris. Chris. Oh, wait, this isn't your wife? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought if you were, I'd say, hi, your husband's brilliant, but <laughs> since he's not your husband, he can still be brilliant. I've learned more about politics and my citizenship in the last four hours than I've learned in the last 57 years ago in schools and colleges all around the world. They'll never tell you that. Oh my God, is it corrupt. Hey, and now let's go party in Orlando where they shoot people from The Voice and they kill people in nightclubs, all within like 48 hours. What a fun time it is down there. Did you see that? 49 people murdered, 53 people injured, and the stories they're talking about where the guy was holding a thing over stalls and bathrooms, capping people. Oh, makes me want to go up party in Orlando right now. Let's go. No, I don't have enough Kevlar. 
Jesus. And what is the thing he tried to get the, this this terrorist? He wanted like grade three armor that's the, the equivalent it, of it, SWAT it, it, teams. Wasn't the uh, security guard at a court? A court yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and the FBI will watch. And him. he was under FBI investigation. <laughs> Where did he buy all these fucking rifles if he's under federal investigation? Why are we selling him arms? Because we can't arrest him until he oh, does it's something. Land to the free and right to bear arms and carry assault weapons in the nightclubs if, and blow people away? If we stop him beforehand, we can't bring the gun and take the gun away from everyone else. We have to have him do and it. The FBI blew the hole inside the wall. He came out firing at them. Mm -hmm. He wasn't done shooting. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, how the hell did he even get into the nightclub with, the that, that, much, car? with <laughs> that much armor? And nobody was like, watching the door go boom to the cops. Well, but he had door, more than that in. with him. What do a boom? He had automatic weapons with him. He had an arsenal. The second thing, I mean, he pulled one, off over a hundred rounds there was in there just one, to kill and hurt people. One security guard, off duty police officer, at the door. He shot his yeah. ass as he walked through the door. And that's how he did it. Well, he walked through with a truckload of gear. I mean, how much arsenal would he have to pull off 100 rounds to wound not and much, kill not people? Much, not much with that assault weapon. Not much. Boy, you have to have at least 100 rounds. Plus three all clips. the rounds he fired. Three, three clips. clips in his pants pocket. That's three all he clips. had was three clips? 30 round well, clips. Well, and handguns. He had handguns. He came out shooting handguns. He only had one. He only had so he had, what, 200 rounds with him? That's still nothing. I don't know. I don't carry you those can, kind of you weapons. You can hold 200 pounds in a pistol, a pistol with the ammo about that big. What? In clips. And the, they'll shoot through concrete like yeah. this guy was using? And where do you buy this stuff? At Kmart or Walmart? or? He went to a gun shop. Uh, he went to a gun shop. And they sold him this even though they he was under to. federal investigation. No, federal investigation was over in 2014. Well, no, it was still current. No, it was not. It oh, was they shut it off? Yeah, because they had no proof that he'd done anything. Oh, my God. It was over in 2014. And I love Donald Trump saying, oh, he was born in Afghanistan. No, you, where is he getting his intel from? He was born here in the United States. He was a U.S. citizen who went rogue. He was not born in Afghanistan. And he's on, we got to keep all Muslims out. And he was born in, oh, come on, let's start a race war while we're at it. Do you know what war? martial law is? The the all right. So Google that and White House, and you'll see they already have it enacted that anytime between now and inauguration they can act martial law. Were you aware of that? Yeah. That's frightening. What do you do here? I'm the manager here. Hi, I love your staff here, and well, Gloria, you. the cab driver, said here. Here's a good place to hang out to hide out for a few minutes. I've been covering some news stories that are a little goofy. And when I see this kind of stuff, I think I need to move to a foreign country for the next year to see what you guys do here. What time you can I make? Is 10 o'clock here? Looks like you're in the pool. And is it heated? No. Oh, forget that then. It's probably what, 60 degrees? Oh, I don't need that. Wow. That's just frightening. What do you do? Direct TV. We install the direct TV. Oh, so you work with A tier three. Those fucking terrorists. Yeah, those people are just off the hook, too. They're so involved in this shit, I, I'm blown away. I had to get off my at and lines because I wasn't using them for 30 days. And while someone else was holding on to my phones not using them, somehow I racked up a $1,500 phone bill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's been a thrill. with AT&T. The right choice. Uh, not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Not for me. The right choice. Not for me. Did I tell you that AT&T racked up $1,500 in phone bills while yeah, my phones were in a locker? Yeah, I was, artif I was arrested on bullshit charges, spent 40 days in jail, then they released me. Oh, and my phones are turned off because I racked up a $1,500 phone bill while I was in jail on fraudulent charges? You fucking lying assholes. Oh, and somebody hacked my AT&T accounts and got into all my social media and has been posting stuff on the internet for the last 40 days for me while I was in jail. 
from 25 locations all around North America. I'm talented. I'm the only guy I know can be in jail posting on the internet. Hey! I've got skills. Even fucking, who's the guy who made buildings disappear? David Copperfield can't do that shit. I make My ex brother in law. Notice he's an ex. He's an ex brother in law. Decided to steal my ID. Oh, I'm dealing with identity. He had all, all my information from mine and my ex wife's divorce. Oh, that fucking now, asshole. He, no, oh, no, 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 no. I really like him. He was in Wisconsin. But he stole your ID, you said. Sure did, and paid $7,000 of my back child support. Oh, well, for that, we love him. Yeah. Yes. Steal my shit. I wish I could find people to yeah. steal my shit and pay my bills. Of course, they'd have to pay about $2 million right I'm now. I'm in New Mexico. And I get a letter from the IRS saying, hey, you forgot to declare you working in Wisconsin. Here's huh? a $900 check. Huh? I wrote him back a really nice letter saying, I do not mind commuting, but my ass is not commuting from New Mexico to Wisconsin and then back again because I have a job in New Mexico, too. Unbelievable. Keep your flipping money. Did they? It ain't mine. Did they? They turned it over to the child support department and said, "Here you go." But but did they give you a new social security number? No. See, that's the thing. When you're a victim of identity theft, getting your social security number is fucking impossible to get changed. They won't change it. Let that moron have it. Well, but I would like to know who's closed every fucking bank account in the last year. Cool. I've had everywhere around the world, corporate and personal, because they have my ID. Right. And the feds are just investigating it. No, I really would like a new number so this shit stops happening. But they won't. And that's also illegal as hell. Well, it is no. if you get special read, clearance. Read. Oh, this is another Constitution yep. thing. Fuck, what read, am I up against now? Read the law that created the Social Security. There's Which, by very, the way, isn't even legal. Well, there is a Taxation very, without is, representation. There is a very specific clause in there that says that that number is never to be given to anyone except your employer and your bank. But if it's stolen, you don't really no, have no, a no, choice. No, 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 no. Try to get power turned on without giving them a social security number. Thank you. Or go to the hospital and get a medical record without, without it. Without social security number. Or go get a driver's license or anything. When they debated the social security law. One of their huge debates was that this thing is going to become a federal fucking ID number. So they put the clause in there specifically. Oh my God, this is like 666. Six, six. You remember Nostradamus's mm -hmm. prediction that we'd all have a number? Mm -hmm. Oh, we well, all do. Bible, oh, yeah. The these, mark of Satan. These you are FDI chips that they're putting in the. Is that the owner of the Indian no. gun? Company? No. Okay. Just checking. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, brother. Son of, actually, father-in-law. He's your father-in-law? No, that's the oh. owner's father-in-law. Oh, my God. Now you're fucking with my head. It's like, hold it. You have a father-in-law who's Indian, but your wife is from... Never mind. No, no, no. That's the owner's father-in-law. The owner is from India, but he actually came over here and did exactly what he was supposed to do and got his citizenship. Right, and, and he also got he also got an allocation from being from a foreign country to open a business like this. No. Oh, yeah, they do. No, this business was sold to him by his uncle. Right. They pass it through the family so they get certain tax credits, and then yeah. they move more people over, and then they resell it to other family members. This was entirely different. This was oh. a setup because of an accident that happened when oh, Jimmy was a kid. Oh, God bless him. Uh, Jimmy was in a pretty bad accident, got himself tore up pretty so good. So he's not one of the ones abusing the system. Yep. That's why his uncle sold him this place on a payment plan wow. so that Jimmy would always have, have an a place. income and not have to worry That's about That's pretty it. fucking cool. That nice, that nice will tell you guys that new one, huh? Yeah. Where's Both the new one? I, I haven't seen those. I heard the... Uh, he the home one. two over here? You deal with encryption, right? Somewhat. Yeah. Do you know anybody who's good at BitLocker 256K encryption? No. Because somebody hacked my VPN through double encryption. And got all kinds of shit. Through AT&T. How do they get my VPN? That's not even supposed to be registered on the internet. How do they get that strand? Unless somebody leaked it. Do you have a card? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Card? Pardon? No. I'm Kurt. I'm David. Kelly. If you Google me and put in Intel, you'll see I've been breached for about a year now. Very seriously. It's under federal investigation, but nobody can seem to find the bad guys. Isn't that fascinating? They can hit my bank accounts, but you guys can't figure out where the fucking money's going? Oh, my God. 
Uh, I love my country sometimes, but I feel like somebody stole my country and forgot to tell me about it. That's been, that's been going on for a long time. Yeah, I think the last honest president we had died in 63. And since then, it's just been a tube snake. Ugh. Wow. So do you still live in California, or? Yeah, we live in uh, Riverside. Oh, I live in uh, L.A. I still live in Long Beach before. How long are you out here for? Uh, we've been out here for, uh, I think, like two weeks already. When are you going back? We were, we were going back uh, this morning, but there's uh, two TVs that are not working. Coffee Any possibility I can hitch a ride back to L.A. with you? We have another stop. We have to go to another uh, hotel. Uh, no, I mean like in a day or two when you're headed back to L.A. <laughs> we're, we're probably leaving tonight. Could I hitch a ride with you back to L.A.? I, I, I really don't think so because we're going to another hotel. In L.A.? No, not in L.A. In Texas, somewhere around here. Oh, and then after that, when do you go back to L.A.? So maybe after that, can I get a ride? <laughs> I mean, they stole my credit cards, my car, all kinds of shit since I've been here. I'm trying to find a way to get back to L.A. I've been trying to do that for, oh, about three, four weeks. Oh. Yeah, it's been a nightmare. And then some... Well, if you change your mind, he has my number. <laughs> or I can give it to you. When you get to L.A., I can show you a great time in Hollywood. Oh, what a Never, fucking nightmare ever, this trip ever, ever again. What? Will I go to Hollywood? Well, if you do, call me. I, I have a safe Hollywood. It's not like the one people see. You know that big sweeping corner on I-5 as you go through Hollywood? Yeah. 1984, I dropped, dropped a semi-truck on the passenger side. My feet went out the passenger window, and it took me three years to learn how to walk again. I well, don't go to L.A. Fly there and I'll give you a ride. He nearly died. We were hauling a load of lumber. One by four TNT pine. Twelve wow. units of it. And as we made that corner, one of the bands broke. The load shifted. Oh. The truck went over to the passenger side. How many tons? As it was going over, I decided that the sleeper was safer than the passenger seat I was sitting in. How many tons? Uh, the, the truck and the load. Twenty tons? Probably. Close. And how fast were you going? 55. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a Didn't nightmare. Didn't tickets for no seatbelt. Ah! Uh-huh. <laughs> Gee! Thanks. Mm. Wow. Uh, it's morning. Let's go to Orlando and see who's getting shot next. What the hell is going on with this country? Okay, we're out of coffee. I guess I'll go decaf now. My God, what a... Thanks, they're more scouts caffeinated coffee. Okay. I'm decaffing now. Uh-oh. Which could be dangerous for everyone. I'll be back.